Panther Nation, what is good? This is CJ, two fans in the stands, coming back at you again today with another roster update, all right? But before we get into who got let go and who the Panthers brought in, as I said last night, today is your favorite armchair GM's birthday. Today I turned 41, and nothing would make me happier than for you all, if you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe, Turn on those post notification bells so you know when our videos come and i appreciate you all right so panthers brought in three players off the waiver wire and signed 11 players to the practice squad now the practice squad can consist of up to 16 players so they still got five more spots to fill but a lot of those people that they brought back are familiar faces okay so let's get into it all right so the three people that the Panthers brought in are former Saints guard Calvin Throckmorton, former Jets linebacker Claudin Shirellis, hope I'm saying that right, and former 49ers cornerback Deshaun Damison. All right, and I'm reading this straight off the Panthers website here. Uh, Throckmorton is the most experienced of the lot. He's played 31 games and started 20 for the Saints in the last two seasons. Originally undrafted rookie from Oregon, he has experience starting on both sides, and he is a guard, All right? Shirellis, an undrafted rookie from Alcorn State, did not participate in the joint practices with the Panthers in Spartanburg, but stood out during the preseason, an athletic linebacker who also played at UMass. Shirellis ran a 5.54 second 40 at his pro day with a 38-inch vertical jump, All right? Now, Jamison, an undrafted rookie from Texas, is on the smaller side at 5'9", 186 pounds, but he earned solid reviews in 49ers camp this summer and has the potential as a return man, okay? So, now you know how this goes. They bring in three players from the waiver wire. Three players had to go to make room on the 53-man roster, all right? So, to clear the three roster spots, team wave quarterback Matt Corral wide receiver Derek Wright, and linebacker Chandler Wooten, okay? So out of the three of these, the only one that kind of surprised me a little bit was Matt Corral. Now, me and Tony had this conversation earlier today, and we were kind of opposite sides. Tony felt like they weren't going to get rid of Matt Corral at all. I felt like they should, you know, because just throw him out there, and see if there was any kind of potential for some sort of trade. And we know we're not going to get a third round pick like we traded up for um, to take him a couple years ago. But, you know, sixth round, seventh round, something. So that was just my thought on it. Maybe the Panthers uh, shopped him around and couldn't find nothing. Ended up trading him. I mean, sorry, ended up releasing him. You know, we'll, we'll never know. But Matt Corral is no longer on the roster. So as of now, it looks like the Panthers are going to keep two quarterbacks, and that would be Bryce Young and Andy Dalton. Okay, so let me know what your thoughts are on this. Um, I don't really have anything on these three guys, you know, concrete yet. I haven't done my research on them as of yet, but um, I do like the fact that they brought in another offensive lineman with experience. Um, Shirellis and Jamison you know, yet to be seen. Don't know if maybe they are, uh, you know, something that the Panthers may have found that somebody let go of, you know, so we, we got to get, get them out there, see them on the field, see what they can do. All right. So now let's go over to the practice squad. Okay. So the Panthers signed 11 players to the practice squad. And all of these are names that you are all familiar with. All of these are names that were cut yesterday as the Panthers had to get down to the required 53 man roster. So they brought back offensive lineman, Justin McCray, Deontay Brown. Tony will be very happy that his buddy, Deontay Cornbread Brown is back on the practice squad. All right. JD Dorenzo, Spencer Brown, which I said yesterday, I was about a thousand percent sure that he would make the practice squad. Uh, defensive lineman, Raquan Williams and Taylor Stallworth. E. Coleota, Jordan Thomas, Eric Rowe, Stanley Thomas, Oliver III, and Mark Milton. Okay, so like I said earlier, those are 11 players. The maximum is 16, so there are still five spots on the practice squad 
that have yet to be filled. Um, and it's probably possible that Corral, Wooten, and Derek Wright could clear waivers and potentially end back on the practice squad again. I think um, Coach Wright said that he would like, you know, to keep Corral if he does clear waivers. But, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens, all right? So, Panther Nation, like I said, that was just a quick update on the roster moves that were made today. Um, catches this Saturday at noon Eastern Standard Time as we go live, and me and Tony will dive into the roster more. We'll also update you on any new transactions that are made between now and then. And as always, everybody, like I said before, if you haven't, please hit that like button, subscribe, turn on those post notification bells. Today is my birthday and nothing will make me happier than for y'all to subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you to everybody that already has, okay? Panther Nation, as always, you know what I'm about to tell you. Be good, be safe, and keep pounding, y'all.